charge, buddy. Yeah, Rory Cobb on the drum. Today with Enoch Magazine, just here with Matt and Tony from No Use for a Name. Just just talking, chatting about life. You guys have been a band almost 20 plus years now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 20 years of leaving home for, you know, six or eight months out of the year. It's, uh, it changes you a little bit. I think we were lucky to be, uh, to start in a place like in the, you know, in the 90s when bands could be like in the middle and be okay. Mm -hmm. And now I think it's more like bands start off and if they don't make it, they're done. It, it's either you do or you don't. You make it big or you just fade away. At the Blast when we were talking about how cool it used to be to go into the store mm -hmm. on the release date and go, there it is, I got the last one or whatever, and you'd open it up. What's the artwork look inside? This is awesome. But now it's not like that. Yeah. You just go click. Oh, I guess that's pretty good. That's something we've learned over this many years is how to deal with the way things change and stuff like that, you know? I mean, whether you like it or not, that's what it is. So you kind of have to go along those lines. I mean, you know, if you rebel against it, then you're done. You guys did most a lot of your stuff for a few years with Ryan Green. Yeah. Out at uh, lot see at Motor City and mm -hmm. stuff, and now Motor you City chose is. Blasting Room with Bill Stevenson and Jason Livermore. Why? Why the change? Because our records were starting to sound exactly the same, to the point where it was nauseating. Ryan is a great engineer. He's a great producer and everything. Good friend. But and a good friend. But he he was just like we were just doing the same thing every time. Same you know? thing. Well, it got to the point to where we knew what the album was going to sound like before we even went in there. You know. The mindset when I was. Writing was just like, okay, well, these songs are so different. It's got to be recorded different. Everything about it has to be different. You know what I mean? The approach had to be completely different. It felt really good recording this record. There's what? 14 songs on it, so there's just there's a lot of variety. You know? it's just, what is yeah. a special moment that stands out to each of you in recording this newest album? Oh, oh, okay. That's a good one. Good one. Um, you know what? I remember when I was recording my bass tracks, it was just me and Bill Stevenson, you know, in a little room. And, you know, he's telling me doing this. I'm getting pissed off. and. But you know, the weird thing about this guy is that he's always right. He does seem to nail it right. But for us, like, it's probably about five minutes span, I'm sitting there playing, thinking, this guy's played with some of the best bass players ever, you know what I mean? And he's sitting right in front of me. It was just this weird, like, he's, I, I consider the guy a friend now, but he's also somebody I really look up to. So it was just like, it was just the coolest vibe. I, I don't even know how to explain that. If it means nothing to anybody else, it means something to me, you know no. what I mean? Hearing the final mix and just being like, well, this has been a year in the making and, uh, Sounds awesome. That's that's the, my favorite mm -hmm. part. Tell me how it is. You told me my city. I'm too late to see. I'm not your father because you didn't turn around. I got a boy. Send it to the night. So they'll trust me. Why? Oh, 
Trying to conceive of it.